All right, so um, I'm gonna make a uh, tallow torch out of um, a mullein stock, and um, this is the flower head. They make very good torches. This is um, some tallow that I had. I've melted it down and I put it in a vessel that I can um, dip the mullein stock into. And essentially, I'm just gonna take this and just kind of dip it down in there, swirl it around a little bit, make sure it gets saturated. And then I can take this and kind of make sure it holds it and then kind of hold it up and down and let it drizzle down. Notice I've got some um, newspaper underneath so I don't make a mess. And then what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to do this a couple of times. Um, tallow acts a lot like wax in that it, it heats, it's, it melts pretty readily um, but then also cools off pretty quickly as you can see probably already and then I'm just going to keep dipping this and I really only need to dip the top because once we set this on fire as a torch just like a candle the tallow will melt down and start to refuel itself so I'm going to just set this aside and I've got a couple of others that I'm going to start this process with. And what you would want to do is you'd want to have a vessel or at least a way to melt your fat, your tallow, which is basically beef fat or deer fat, elk, moose fat, rendered down uh, and pour it over your medium or your wick. And um, that can be uh, mullein stock, uh, it could be cattail stock, or flower head I should say. Um, this is a mullein uh, flower head. Uh, and uh, these burn pretty readily. And this one's pretty long, it's, it's, it's over 12 inches. Um, and um, they, they give serviceable light, so you could bundle them up together and you'd have torches. You know, and that's... Uh, primitive situation that's great you have you have usable light so I'm going to um, prep a lot of prep a few of these and then uh, once they're ready we'll uh, take them outside and see how they burn all right so I've got um, a few of these dipped and these these flower heads consist of these mullein stalks here this is a uh, bundled up, um, this is actually uh, yellow dock stocks, flower heads that are bundled together and I just loosely, very loosely wrapped them together. Single mullein stock and then this is, these are bundled cattail flower heads and I could probably mix and match the two but that's what it is and I'm just going to let these dry and again I've, I've got my melted um, uh, tallow or suet melted beef fat and uh, using that to uh, be the fuel and I've taken some of the uh, flower head fluff and I've added it to the top of some of these to make a sort of a wick that'll be easier to light uh, when it's time to do it um, just sort of as an idea I'm throwing that out there at the last minute so I'm going to let these sit and um, get um, set and dry, but yeah, it's kind of messy, so again, I'm indoors and got my uh, brown paper bag split and set out, and uh, this is how we're going to make some torches, and uh, we'll, see how, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so we have our uh, mullein stock here on the, the left and the tallow is burning down like a candle which will create more fuel for it so it'll burn for a while and we have uh, some a bundle of cattail uh, treated with tallow and it's going to do the same thing and this is burning pretty bright, brightly actually and this is a bundle it's a bundle of three so it's fairly bright light and um, this is the, ta the mullen's given serviceable light um, and so you can kind of see how you can put this together and make uh, 
torches or tiki torches or whatever you want to call them. So I think the the cattail will probably burn out sooner, but it's giving brighter light, and it's a torch. This will take a.